I thought it was a, a productive weekend for us. Um, you know, going into our, our first game at home, uh, we wanted to come out with, with more energy than we did. Uh, we kind of uh, started a bit slow, but um, was happy with the end result, getting a, a win on our first, uh, first game at home. Uh, saw a lot of things that I'd like to do uh, a bit sharper and quicker. Uh, but in the end, you always want to push for the result. Uh, and then uh, going into the, the Sunday game, Sunday games are always difficult. Both teams have uh, played a couple days before. Uh, we knew Iowa State was going to be a, a tough opponent, very physical, direct. Um, we started the game well and uh, dominated uh, the first part of the game. Uh, ended up getting a, a, a red card, which changed our tactics a bit. Uh, or a lot, uh, but I was proud of the way they played. Uh, still played with confidence, still uh, controlled uh, much of the game, even though we were down a player. Um, I mean, we always want to fight to get a win at home, but when you are down a player for that long amount of time, then and, and to end up with a 0-0 zero zero, uh, against a, an opponent that can be very dangerous, uh, you know, we'll take it, uh, we'll learn from it, uh, and, and move on and push for a win on our next game. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to have that same mentality on, on Thursday. Uh, it just didn't, didn't happen uh, quick enough. Uh, I think uh, the, the players really responded to uh, the want to go out there and play at a faster pace, a bit more aggressive from the start, but really look to, to exploit teams early on, uh, especially when both teams are going to be, should be pretty aggressive the first 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but I was happy with our, our approach going into that, that Sunday game. Well, when you go down uh, a player, uh, you sometimes teams end up backing up, uh, and really you just have to have a plan behind it. And the, and the main thing I told them was to stick to what we were going to do. Uh, the only change was was one less player up top, uh, and we just needed to play a little bit different as we went forward. So uh, I thought the team did an excellent job of, of not panicking and uh, continuing to try to keep control of the game. Um, and not get exploited with the space that is left with le uh, one less player. But it was, uh, it was really just trying to keep the same mentality uh, of how we want to play and dictate a game. Uh, and uh, you see it all over the world. Some teams end up dropping way off, and then you get a lot of pressure on you. You still got to have the mentality to, to try to win the game. You know, I think we've gotten better and better each, each game. You can see that uh, it's coming together for longer periods of time throughout the game. And, and that's the main thing for me. We want to build it to where we have 80% uh, of the game where we're, we're really in control uh, with ball, without ball. Um, and that's stuff, that's, a, that's all things that we look at after every game is why did we drop off at this moment and what can we do to, not, to change that uh, that from happening on a consistent basis. So uh, I'm happy with the direction we're going uh, and, and hoping that we see a lot more minutes throughout the game where uh, we're more effective. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the part we want to take advantage of more, and that's a mentality. Uh, it's, a, it's something that the players have to have that hunger inside the box, and sometimes it's not going to be a perfect goal, but if you put yourself in the right spot uh, six out of ten times, you know, then you're going to have a better chance of scoring if you only did it three times. So it's, it's just the, the mindset of, of the players to, to gamble at times and put yourself in a, in a good spot even if you don't think it's going to happen at that time. And 
uh, I have seen improvement from that because we are in, in good spots, uh, but now uh, let's have some clinical finishing when we, when we get in those spots and, and relieve a little bit of pressure off of our cells. Yeah, deserved too. Uh, she she's uh, really been very consistent the first four games and uh, has made those game winning saves. And but she just had some really good presence in the back line. Uh, it, it's it's uh, it's needed. You need a goalkeeper that is uh, that has that presence back there that leads from her actions and and the success that she's having. So. Uh, all the success that she's having, uh, I think this is just going to build confidence, not in just her, but also our back line and our full team. Uh, so it's a, it's a great, it's a great uh, honor for her to have that early on. Yeah, I mean it's been it's been great because I've seen her grow uh, not only as a as a player but as a person. I mean she is just a, a very special all around uh, person and athlete. So uh, just having that relationship with her and the trust of, uh, of of me trying to get the best out of her and her trying to get the best out of herself to elevate the program uh, is 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 pretty special you know and uh, and I'm loving seeing her success and I see her only getting better from here uh, but you know in all honesty that's just what our program is is trying to build that relationship uh, for the same cause of being our absolute best not just as athletes but as people and as a team and as a program so uh, she's just one of those uh, great examples of that. Thank you.